lift you up, to edify you, to build you up. I thank God that he has given us the opportunity to share with you in song. As you can very well see, we're practicing social distancing, and we're, we're still doing what we're supposed to do, but God has allowed us to come together and to just share some songs, some songs of praise. And, and, and Brother Ernie, we, we said we was going to call it this time. We, 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 we named it last, last time we came together. We named it COVID, no, songs of praise against COVID-19. But tonight we just want to say we want to just uplift the name of Jesus gonna glorify his name and we pray that you be blessed by the songs that we share with you tonight now once again we want to encourage you don't get down don't be dismayed god is going to bring us out of this situation as long as we stay faithful to him he's going to stay faithful to us so listen if you don't know these songs get to know them tonight and if you do know these songs sing along with us tonight amen we're just going to have a good time in the lord all right y'all ready come on Come on, say it.
your name, Father. We praise you today. We lift you up. We magnify your name. We understand and we realize if it had not been for you, who was on our side, where would we be? Come on, say, is it my right about it? Don't we serve a good God? Is he the awesome God? You just as well, is he the awesome God? Yes, amen, amen. God bless you. Have you ever asked God a question? Have you ever asked him to use you? Have you ever asked him to speak for you? Ask him and tell him that you'll go where he wants you to go. You'll do what he wants you to do. You'll say what he wants you to say. How many of you know God will use you? In the supermarket? In the larger bag? Come on, in the cleaners. Come on, let me hear you talk to me. Talk to me. Only you two. Come on, watch this. He told us in the book of Matthew. He said, for us to go into the hedges of the highways and preach the gospel, preach the gospel. He says, open up your mouth and I'll speak for you. Then he said, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. He said, speak to the blind.
you. God bless you. Come on again, God. Pray right where you are. Put those hands together and tell God, thank you. Thank you for using us. Thank you for using us, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We appreciate you. We magnify your name. God, we thank you. Amen.
We come to give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on and give God praise. Right where you are. Right where you are. Give him glory. Magnify his name. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praise. Amen. I pray you're being blessed in your home. I pray you're being blessed in your bedroom, in your living room, in your dining room, maybe even in your kitchen. While you're cooking up some good old shrimp and crab legs. Amen. Amen. But we bless your, bless your heart tonight. For tuning in. Pass, but Joseph, pass it up, family. Amen. Hallelujah. But we thank God for you tonight. We appreciate you for logging on. Remember, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, call a neighbor, call a friend, call a loved one, family member. Let them know Pastor Matlock and NHBC praise and worship team and man, we're here tonight and we're giving God glory. Amen. Yeah. Right where you are. So right where you are. We're going to sing this song that God had given us. You know, God gave me this song a couple of years ago. Amen. And it's called the blood. How many of you know it's because of his blood, we have been made free? Because his shed blood, we have been made sin free. We don't have to walk in sin. We don't have to operate in the lust of our flesh. But thank God for the shed blood of Jesus Christ, who saw the all beyond our faults and saw our very
God praise right where you are. Amen. We get glad about the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross just for you. Amen. That's why I take that thing personal. He shed his blood just for you. That you may have a right to the tree of life. Amen. Amen. We're going to do what, what we got? One more? Next one? Next one? What's the next one? How many of you know Jesus is coming back? He's coming back, the Bible says, for a church without spot of rainbow. And the question we're going to ask you tonight is, will you be ready? Hallelujah. The book of Thessalonians, First Thessalonians says that he's going to crack the sky. And it's going to be a loud shout with the voice of the archangel. And the scripture says the dead in Christ shall rise first and be caught up together to meet him in the clouds. And then he said, those that are alive and remain, watch this, shall be always together with him at the very end. Never last in life. How many of you glad about that? Glad about that? Hallelujah.
God bless you. May the love of God rest you in the this world now and forever. God bless you.
want to tell you something tonight. I want to encourage your hearts right where you are. No matter what you're going through, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation and what's going on around us in this day and time that we're living in, Jesus Christ is Lord in it. I want to encourage your hearts tonight. We come to encourage your hearts tonight to let you know it's all about him and not about us. Don't worry about the circumstance, but stay faithful. Stay committed. Stay dedicated. Stay encouraged in his word. He said in his word, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. How many of you believe that tonight? Yeah, yeah though I walk through the valley.
Good night. We'll see you again on the flip side. God bless you.